Here in our quick start screen, we can use the radio buttons on the left side. Our first option is open a recent file. When I click in this radio button, I can click on this drop down box and select any one of the recently opened Sibelius files. Click on the file name and then click on OK and that file will open up. The next option is open another file. If my file is not listed in this quick start menu, I can use this option, click on OK, and I'll be presented with a dialog box and I can navigate to the file that I wish to open. This radio button allows me to start a new score. With it selected, I would click on OK and then begin creating a new score. This radio button allows me to browse teaching resources and worksheets. There are over 1,700 items available when you choose this option. We can choose to open a standard MIDI file. If I've created my song inside Logic or Pro Tools, I may want to export it as a standard MIDI file and then open it up in Sibelius. Here, I can choose to use my scanner to scan in printed music using Photoscore Lite, which came with Sibelius, or I could use Photoscore Ultimate to get even more options for scanning in music. This is a new option in Sibelius 6. It allows you to input music from a microphone by singing into Audio Score. You can also play a live guitar into Audio Score and then have Audio Score transcribe it into Sibelius. This is the tip of the day box. It shows us that Sibelius automatically shows cautionary or courtesy accidentals in the bar following an accidental knot in the key signature, cutting down on mistakes in rehearsals. I like reading the tip of the day. I always find that I learn something useful. The last checkbox down here is show this quick start menu each time Sibelius 6 starts. I generally leave it on because I find it's the most efficient way for me to work.